New reports suggest that Silent Hill is coming way sooner than we think, and it is being backed by some pretty big insiders on Twitter. We'll get right into that news, including more news such as the PlayStation Plus monthly games, and I'm talking over 20 new PS Plus games, trust me, you'll wanna hear those. As well as Sony and Tencent owning 30% of From Software, the developers of games like Bloodborne, Dark Souls, Elden Ring, Demon Souls, and Sekiro. We'll also be discussing some updates regarding the James Bond game, and Konami announcing a game that they claim is beloved by fans. Before we get into all of that news, please don't forget to like the video if you found it informative or entertaining in order to support the channel. It will take you a second and it will help the channel more than you think. All right, let's get right into it. This is another episode of the Daily Gaming Report. Hey what's up guys, OP Gamer here, and the first news of the day is regarding Silent Hill. I mean this game is basically getting rumored every single month for the past like 5-6 years. But this time, the rumor is being authenticated by a verified Twitter user that is considered a well-known insider. At Andy Robinson on Twitter said, I have now heard from several people that a Silent Hill reveal may be sooner than I suggested in my story today. As with all reporting on timings, I wouldn't take that as gospel, but fans possibly won't have to wait much longer. So again, another verified user giving us hope of a Silent Hill game being announced very soon. Now this aligns with the rumored Sony event that's happening very soon. Keep in mind that Sony didn't have a big event for a long time. It is bound that we'll get a PlayStation showcase very soon. I mean there is no way Sony is not gonna make an event soon. It's been so long. It just makes sense to advertise PS5 and PS5 games. They've done it over and over with PS4 and PS3. They have to advertise the PS5 more. Yes, PS5 is super popular and is still selling out, but it's been a while since we've gotten any major updates regarding PS5 about new upcoming games. Just imagine a Silent Hill reveal at the start of the next PlayStation Showcase. That would absolutely blow up and gather so much hype. Remember, we have gotten leaks of a Silent Hill before. We even gotten images of the reported Silent Hill game, and it definitely looks awesome. Now yes, it's not 100% verified that these pictures are true, but considering that Konami themselves took down these pictures as soon as they saw them on Twitter does hold a lot of value. Considering that the last Silent Hill game was in 2012, which was Silent Hill Downpour, fans are absolutely desperate, including myself. I really want a new Silent Hill game. Even playing old Silent Hill game today, they're still super fun to play. So just imagine if somehow Hideo Kojima and Konami work together again on a Silent Hill game. That would be a monumental moment moment in gaming history, and I pray that it happens. Alright, the next news topic is regarding the PlayStation Plus monthly games for September, and this is truly a big one, at least for me. So the essential games, which are coming on September 6th until October 3rd, you just have to download them and you will keep them forever, as long as you have the subscription. It is Need for Speed Heat on PS4, Grand Blue Fantasy Versus on PS4, and Toem on PS5. Now yes, these aren't super exciting, right? For the extra and premium catalog, which is available on September 20th, Deathloop on PS5, Assassin's Creed Origins on PS4, Watch Dogs 2 on PS4, Dragon Ball X Xenoverse 2 on PS4, Spiritfarer Farewell Edition on PS4, Chikori A Colorful Tale on PS4, Monster Energy Supercross The Official Video Game 5 on PS4 and PS5, Alex Kidd in Miracle World DX on PS4 and PS5, Rabbids Invasion The Interactive TV Show on PS4, Rayman Legends on PS4, Scott Pilgrim vs The World Complete Edition on PS4, and it doesn't end there. If you're a premium member, you will be getting these classics, which are available on September 20th. Siphon Filter 2 on PS1, finally, I'm super excited for this. As well as the next game, which is the Sly Collection, which is a PS3 game. Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, finally we're getting some good classic games. And I'm not even done. Bentley's Hack Pack on PS3, Toy Story 3 on PSP, Kingdom of Paradise on PSP. I don't know about you guys, but I am super hyped for this lineup. I never got a chance to play Deathloop, it was just one of these games that I knew I'm gonna play at some point, but I had so many games to play at the time, and Deathloop wasn't the main focus for me at the time. But I can finally play it, as well as so many other games, like Saffron Filter 2, The Sly Collection, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Need for Speed Heat. These are all games that I didn't play, and I'll finally get to play them in September. And even though I'm super excited for this catalog, I know some people will still find a way to complain about it. I get if you own all these games already, then you're not super excited for this. But me personally, I think this is the best month in a while for PS Plus. There are at least 4 games in here that I know for a fact I will play, which makes the PS Plus subscription that I have, which is the highest tier, absolutely worth it. Let me know your thoughts about this in the comment section down below. Are you excited for the September catalog, or would you rather different games? Let me know. Alright, moving on, we'll be talking about the James Bond game, 
which is a game that is being developed by the Hitman studio IO Interactive. As reported by VGC, a financial report from IO Interactive suggests its James Bond game, Project 007, may not be released before March 2025. Credits to Dark Detective on Twitter for gathering this info. He says, IO Interactive has published its annual report 2021-2022, which is the year ending 31st March 2022. Revenue came in at DKK 538 million, which is more than twice the management expectations thanks to Xbox Game Pass. And because of these numbers, it is predicted that Project 007 will be scheduled after March 2025. Now yes, I know that the game is long ways off, but I didn't expect a 2025 release. I mean, that is minimum three years. I understand announcing a game and getting hyped for a game, but doing it three years in advance is a bit much. And keep in mind that this game might get delayed. It might get even delayed for more than a year. So we're looking at possibly waiting four years for this game. Now, I'm not saying that IO Interactive isn't an amazing studio that makes amazing games. Yes, Hitman is an amazing game. Even if you don't like it, you can't deny its success. So many people love it. But it's not the type of studio that makes super polished games that have insane graphics and astonishing gameplay. It's not one of those studios. So I'm a bit surprised by this date. But let me know what you think. Is this expected? Or are you also surprised by this release date? All right, next up, we have to talk about the Sony and Tencent deal. As reported by IGN, Sony and Tencent have bought over 30% of Elden Ring developer from software. Sony now owns 14.09% of the company, while Tencent, via its six joys subsidiary, now owns 16.25%. From Software clearly aims to capitalize on this increased investment, with majority stakeholder Kadokawa issuing the following statement. From Software decided to conduct the third-party allotment to six joy within the Tencent group, which has strength in its capabilities to develop and deploy mobile games and other network technologies in the global market, including China and SIE within the Sony group, which has strength in capabilities to deploy IP in games, videos, and various other media in the global market, concurrently and separately. So this is actually a big deal. 15% is not a small amount to own for a company. I mean, keep in mind, this is one of the most renowned developers ever. I mean, Elden Ring was such a huge success. The game is already in the top 10 best-selling games in US history. And the game just came out less than a year ago. And it won all these awards. Most likely will win Game of the Year, although God of War Ragnarok is also looking promising. But I'm not sure if it's gonna beat Elden Ring. We'll just have to see about that. But yeah, this is a very big deal and a very smart deal for Sony. I mean, Tencent is already owning so many publishers, developers, etc. So I'm not surprised that Tencent bought them. The fact that Sony bought 15% of From Software but not Microsoft really does surprise me. Now, yes, Sony does have a previous deal with From Software with games such as Bloodborne, but Microsoft has so much more money than Sony. And I'm sure that Microsoft did ask From Software for a deal, but maybe From Software is more familiar with Sony rather than Microsoft. Hopefully, this deal gives us hope that Sony and From Software will work again on another game like Bloodborne or possibly a Bloodborne remake or even better for me, a Bloodborne 2. We'll just have to hope and pray about that. The last news of the day is regarding Konami. Reported by Dual Shockers, Konami announcing new installment to beloved series at Tokyo Game Show. Tokyo Game Show is an event that will kick off on September 15th. It happens yearly and a lot of times they announce some pretty big things on there. Mainly it's Japanese focused, as the name suggests Tokyo Game Show. It is held in Tokyo and it announces some pretty big things about Japanese related games. Now there are a lot of beloved games at Konami. It's not just Metal Gear and Silent Hill. There is also Castlevania, Zone of the Enders, Bomberman and Contra. So they have more than Metal Gear and Silent Hill. But let's be real, these are the two games that are most beloved by fans when it comes to Konami. So obviously a lot of people were saying that Metal Gear or Silent Hill announcement is coming at TGS, which also happens to coincide with the recent rumors that I just reported on regarding a new Silent Hill game being announced sooner rather than later. Regardless of the announcement, I'm just glad to see that Konami is finally back at making games. I really hope this announcement isn't about a pachinko game because that will really piss me and a lot of people off. I mean, Konami isn't the brightest, but I'm sure they are not that disconnected. This has to be something good, which let's be real, anything good from Konami, I will take, as from the past 5 years, nothing good has come out from them. But I'm hoping for the best at TGS 2022. Alright, that's all the news for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, again, please do leave a like in order to support the channel. Also, subscribe to the channel for your daily gaming news, and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to never miss any future uploads. That's all for me now. I'll catch you next time.